Hi, Dana Beck here. Thank you for taking a few moments out of your busy schedule to watch my YouTube video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And if you would, please go ahead and uh, comment, like, and share. And uh, I would really, really appreciate it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really uh, benefit me as well. So thank you so very much for doing that. So what I wanted to talk about tonight are free and low-cost tools that I use in my business. Now, I covered this once before, but it was more in broad strokes, an overview, if you please, of various tools that you can use in your business. The point of this YouTube video is to pinpoint and really uh, drill down on specific tools. There's, there's maybe about a half dozen or so that I use that I believe should be in every single online entrepreneur's toolbox, if you please. And so I'm going to start out by sharing with you some free tools, 100% free, cost zero, 100% free tools. And, you know, and these tools, again, uh, they're open source. And just because they're free doesn't mean that they, that they're cheap or that they're, they don't have, you know, great features or attributes. Absolutely not. These are robust. These are full version just great tools that are free, that are open source. And again, I use all of them quite frequently. So let's get into it. I want to look at the first tool. Now, the first tool many of you are very, very familiar with. This first one is called Inkscape. And again, I'm sure you're familiar with it. And Inkscape is a pretty much a free and open source vector graphics editor. And you can make spectacular graphics with Inkscape. I've used it for, uh, for various applications. I've also developed animated GIFs, or GIFs, G-I-F, animated GIFs very simply and very easily. You know, five, five seconds, ten seconds as the most short little GIFs. And you can make those in Inkscape very, very easily. Very powerful product. And again, this is 100% free. And Inkscape is if you please, the free version or the alternate to Adobe Illustrator. It has many of the same features as Adobe Illustrator, yet it's 100% free, and it is a very, very powerful graphics tool. Another graphics tool that I like to use a lot, and many of you are familiar with this, I'm sure it's called GIMP, and GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program, GIMP, and uh, GIMP, it, it, I mean, it's a free open source raster graphics editor, and it's used for image manipulation, touching up images, and so forth. And two specific areas or things that I use GIMP for. Number one is it is a great tool for removing backgrounds to make an image transparent or to make the background of an image transparent. Very easy to do, very quick, very fast, very simple. A great tool for that. And something else I use GIMP for, too. I developed and produced uh, 3D book covers with the binder and the cover. I was able to do that in GIMP very, very simple, very easily, and had spectacular results. And again, it's 100% free. It is open source. So GIMP is another product that I use. And like I said a moment ago, uh, GIMP is the alternative to Adobe Photoshop. has many of the same features as Adobe. And the next tool that I like to use as well, this is OBS Studio. And OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software or Open Broadcasting Software. And this is also free and open source software. It's a suite for recording and live streaming. As a matter of fact, this video that I'm doing right now, I'm using OBS Studio for it. And when I do Facebook Lives, I run my Facebook Live, bit, you know, uh, uh, I guess, live stream through OBS Studio so I can have graphics, pop-ups, I can change scenes, I can fade in and out. I mean, there's so much I could do. And doing uh, Facebook Live native to Facebook, there's very, very, you're very limited on tools and whatnot. But when you run your Facebook Live through OBS Studio, oh my gosh, it opens up whole new worlds. And again, this is also 100% free. And links for all of these applications I'll make available to you here at the end of this uh, YouTube video. 
But anyway, OBS Studio, this is a tremendous product. Again, 100% free. Now, these are three uh, these are three free applications that you can get very simply and are very, very powerful. Now I'd like to talk about premium applications, but these applications are very, very low cost. First one I want to talk about is GetResponse. And I know many of you are familiar with GetResponse, and um, it, is, it is a very powerful, very powerful tool. It's a, it's a great autoresponder tool. And, and really, it's an email marketing platform, and it has many, many features, many tools. You can design landing pages, and I, I, I mean, it, it, uh, it has a new AI feature as well. I mean, there are lots of tools, and it's very versatile, and it is a very powerful tool, and I use it for... Uh, for communicating with those on my list, you can set up individual lists. And I mean, it, again, it is a great tool, very, very inexpensive. And, and, and I love it. I've been using it, gosh, for years and years. But there's another one that I've also used. Uh, now, AWeber is also a autoresponder tool. And AWeber has some features and attributes that GetResponse does not have. But, but conversely, GetResponse also has some tools and attributes that AWeber doesn't have. So before you decide on an autoresponder, I would do a side-by-side -side comparison and be very clear on what is it you want to get out of your autoresponder. What is it you want to achieve? And with that in mind, do a side-by-side -side comparison. And both of these, AWeber and GetResponse, are great products. They're both very, very inexpensive, and they're both very, very powerful and have lots of uh, tools built into them. So, again, those are two autoresponders, very, very low, low cost, and very, very powerful, very, just very good products. And what's the next thing I want to look at? Well, the next thing is Click Magic. Now, Click Magic is uh, this is another another great tool and click magic is an online marketing platform that allows you to track and, and optimize all of your marketing efforts if you're running solo ads you can use a click magic link you can use a link in click magic to, to track the performance of your solo ad and and again, it has great metrics that you that you can follow. It can show you again how your uh, how your solo ad is performing. I also use Click Magic links for Facebook uh, ads that I do or Google ads. Again, all in one snapshot, you can see how your campaigns are performing, and it, it is really it's a very robust, very very powerful tool, and it is really inexpensive. It's not expensive at all. And I've been using Click Magic, you know, for many, many years, and I'm very, very happy with it. And I think it will really benefit you as well to track, again, track all of your marketing campaigns. And what's another tool that I use? Well, another tool that I use is ScreenPal. Now, ScreenPal used to be a screencast-o-matic, and it, is, it has migrated or morphed, if you please, whatever, into ScreenPal, and it's even better than ever before. And ScreenPal has lots and lots of features, but if you're doing how-to videos, ScreenPal is a must. It will capture everything on your desktop, every move, every mouse click, and there are lots of editing tools that go along with it, so you can really make your how-to videos stand out and pop off the screen, so to speak. It is a, a very valuable tool, and I've used ScreenPal previously, uh, Screencast-O-Matic, but I've used both, you know, ScreenPal for years and years, and I love it. And it's again a very, very affordable tool and well worth looking into. Well, what's the next one? Well, the next one is Canva. Everybody, I'm sure, is familiar with Canva, and they have a free version as well as a premium version. And I've been using the free version for years, and pretty much anything that I want to do with graphics, I can do in Canva. Now, there is a premium version, which gives you access to more tools. And again, a lot of these tools 
uh, would be beneficial to have, but not necessary for me right now. So I'm using the free version, and, and I love it. it. It does a fabulous job, and, and again, the free version is great, but the premium version equally is very, very low cost. So Canva is another great tool, and I highly recommend checking out Canva. At least check out the free version and see how you like it. I think you'll, you'll love it. Then the, the last tool I want to look at, now Namecheap. Namecheap and it is a, a domain name registrar. Now what I do is I register my, all, my domain, all my domains with Namecheap regardless of where they're hosting. Why do I do that? Well, say for instance, you're hosting your website um, on GoDaddy. And, as, and you have your domain registered with Namecheap. So if I want to move my website from GoDaddy, say, to Bluehost, all I have to do is just, just move that one website. And that's all I have to do. If I have Namecheap, well, not Namecheap, excuse me, if I have my domain name and my website both on the same hosting company, if my domain was registered and it's being hosted by, uh, say, for instance, um, you know, Bluehost or GoDaddy. If I want to move from GoDaddy to Bluehost, I've got to move the website and I have to also move or re-register the domain name in, in uh, Bluehost if I'm moving it to that. By keeping all of my domain names registered with Namecheap, it makes managing my website so much easier. I don't have to worry about you know, the, the register, all I have to do is just move the domain. Simple, easy peasy. So Namecheap is something I definitely highly recommend. It is a tool that, uh, again, is, is vital, I think, for anybody who's doing anything online. And most uh, domain names register at around $9 a year. I mean, that's, that's nothing. So Namecheap is a great tool, and I've been using Namecheap for many years, and it is where I store all of my domain names. So, hopefully you got value out of this. And again, you saw value in all of these applications that I shared with you. The free applications as well as the low-cost premium applications. But all of these combined, all of these together, I believe are necessary and mandatory tools every online marketer uh, should have uh, in their toolbox. Every online entrepreneur should have these in their toolbox because, again, they are vital and they, are, they really will help you to stand out and build a very, very solid, successful business. Now, I'm uh, online business. Now, I mentioned a moment ago that um, uh, you can, I was going to give you a link where you can get access to all of these applications I just showed you. If you just go here, um, and it's workwithdana.com. You just go to workwithdana.com. Let me get a, let me get a, um, uh, a closer blow up. Of that. There we go. That might make it easier. HTTPS workwithdana.com. And if you go to that site and go to tools, you can get, you'll see everything that I just listed for you. You can see all the links and you can access them all at one site instead of having to do Google searches and roll over the internet and try to find them. You can find them all right here at this location, uh, HTTPS workwithdana.com. So hopefully uh, that will help you to, uh, to access all these tools. And again, thank you so very, very much for watching. And if you got value out of this, go ahead, please leave me a comment. I really enjoy reading your comments, and I respond to, respond to all of my comments. And please go ahead, comment, like, and share. And go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. It would help me a great deal. So thank you so very much. You have a tremendous day. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much. And you take care now. Bye-bye.